Hey, all right, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. This is an exciting day because I'm here in Seattle in the office of Mike Jalgurvin. Now, Mike and I are probably the most prolific Excel video guys out there. How many videos do you have? You have 600 out on YouTube or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, and I have, uh, I'm, I don't know, this is what, we're coming up on 850 or something like that. So the question that we're going to work on today, and we're going to do it two different ways, my way, Mike's way, is uh, how to do a two-way lookup. Two-way lookup. So we have some nice validation set up here, and Mike will show you how he set this up. We want to choose the, the car and the month and have it figure out for us um, the intersection of those two. Now, I'm going to do this, uh, what I think is, uh, uh, I don't know, the way that I would always do it, and that's doing two matches and then an index. So I'm going to build it in three pieces. So equal match, we're going to go look for uh, that car name within this range over here. I'll press F4. I don't know why, just because I always press F4, and then 0. And that's going to tell me where Honda is. So Honda is in row three. And you see that if I choose a different cell, for example, Subaru, then it shows up in row five. Okay, now I'm going to do a second match. And the thing that's amazing to me about match, you know, we have V lookup and we have H lookup. Well, match goes both ways. It goes vertically or it goes horizontally. So I say, hey, I want to find this month in the range over here. I'll press F4 again and zero at the end. And it tells me that we are in row or column two. Now to make this all work, we're going to use the index function. Of course, when I first saw index, I thought, wow, that's a silly function. I don't really have a chance to use that. Um, but what it does, it says we have a rectangular range. We need a certain row and then a certain column. And so we get 3033. Let's see if it worked. I always hold my breath at this point. Of course, it's hard to talk then. 3033 is working. And let's try something else. We'll choose March and then Saab. And we get 5480. Sweet. OK, now. Once I have that formula working, I then go back and I want to put it all together into one cell. That way someone will think, hey, this guy's really Mr. Excel. So I'm going to copy right there from the formula. That's A14. So here where I have A14, I'll now Control-V to paste. Good. Halfway there. And then we come back to the second formula. Build this whole thing, Control-C, and then come here and paste over A15. Good. Now the formula is working. I'm going to copy the whole thing, Control C, and put it up here where Mike thought it should go up in the yellow cell. And erase this evidence. I had to build it in three pieces. That way it's all impressive. And anyone who comes along will be like, wow, that's the most amazing formula I've ever seen. But I have a sneaking suspicion that Mike is going to show me up here. He's going to have an even cooler way to do it. So we'll turn this over to Mike. Thanks, uh, Mr. Excel. Uh, I don't think I'm going to show you up. I'm going to show you probably a more convoluted, difficult way, but it's pretty cool. So we'll uh, we'll check it out here. We're actually going to use names, the intersector operator, and the indirect function. Now uh, we have April and Chevy. I'd like to name this column January, this column February, and all of the corresponding rows, uh, the name and the row header. The quick way to do that is to use name from selection, create name from selection. I'm going to highlight this whole range and I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut control shift F3. And it's asking, hey, I got the top row, which is right here, and I have the left column. Click OK. Now, I, I never believe that when I do that right off the bat, so I'm actually going to control F3 to see if it got all the names. Sure enough, it does. In 2003, that's define names. Here it's name manager. All right, I'm going to close. Now, I'd like to add data validation here and here, and then we'll build our formula here based on those names and the indirect. Uh, the keyboard shortcut from 2003 that still works in this version is Alt-D-L, and I'm going to allow a list. And the source for this one, this is the car, so I'm going to highlight this range here. Click OK. And then here, Alt D L, Tab L Tab, uh, and then I need the uh, months. Click OK. Now uh, let's go ahead and build our formula. Actually, before we do the indirect, let's see how the intersector operator works. Equals, and then I'm going to highlight the the April range. Notice it shows up as a name because it knows its name. Space. Space is the intersector operator. And then I got Chevy. So it should because the two values are intersecting right there and there's a space. It should give us 4, 5, 1, 1. Now, wouldn't it be nice instead of having to do this formula and highlight it, we could just do a formula like this equals Chevy space 
April. Hey, it's got the intersector operator, and we, those are names, right? Enter. Null set. Uh, that means there's no intersection. Hey, all we have to do since this, if I highlight it and hit the F9 key, that's evaluate. That actually shows me that that's a word. Those quotes mean text. I'm going to control Z. So what we need to do is use the indirect function. It converts text to a reference. So I'm going to type indirect. I'm a bad typer. Actually, you should have been here watching uh, Mr. Excel use the keyboard. I couldn't believe it. I'm such a bad typer. But I have to look down here. All right, uh, let's see if this works. Notice that's a pretty weird formula because there's a space, but when I hit Enter, it seems to work. Let's check it. Subaru, uh, sa Saab, right? And uh, March. And sure enough, let's see, did it get it? Where is March? Where is March? Uh, there it is. It seemed to get it. Sweet. That's so uh, we'll see you uh, next uh, trick. And uh, Mr. Cell, Excel is going to say uh, bye here also. Hey, all right. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.